Woodland Park has a fascinating history. In 1903, the Houston Electric Company, who had a fleet of electric trolleys, wanted to increase ridership on their trolley that came down Houston Avenue. And so they purchased this parcel of land and called it Highland Park and created a destination park so that the Houston dwellers who lived in what we now call downtown would hop on the trolley and take a day excursion out into the country and have this big day in what they called Highland Park. The electric company dammed Little White Oak Bayou and turned it into a little lake with crystal clear water. There were rowboats available for families or suitors courting their sweethearts. Um, there were chutes to slide into the lake and swim. There was a pavilion, ladies in white dresses and parasols. It was a big deal. Our neighborhood, the Woodland Heights, was created four years later, we know because of the proximity of the park and the proximity of the trolley system. So our neighborhood owes its existence to Woodland Park. After about 10 years, the electric company decided they're not in the business of parks. And so they um, deeded the property to the city of Houston's park department. And in 1914, the city opened this as Woodland Park. Woodland Park was really a locus for the community at that time. There were dances in the Civic Center, movie nights. Kenny Rogers played with his high school band in this community center. And that lasted well into the 60s probably and sometime in the 70s and 80s. The, the bloom fell off the rose and this park just slowly receded into the background and people pretty much forgot about it. And that's the state that we found the park in when we, we formed the Friends of Woodland Park. Coming full circle a hundred years later on the, the neighborhood centennial, we were able to give back to, uh, to the park and much of what's happened here has been since the last 14 years of uh, that centennial and the forming of the Friends of Woodland Park.